How y'all doing today? It's Cash Cow back with another video. Today I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna start a playlist called I Got Five On. So what I tend to do is I go through my long boxes on my comic book collection. I search for five comics every week. And just post them and say, hey, this is the price that you can find them for. And take an invest, you know, take a chance on investing in it. Like, what's wrong with it? If it's a low, low price comic, very affordable, why not take a chance on it? You guys want to see those five comics? Stay tuned. Number one. Or number five, as I should say. Sorry, apologize. Five. We got Firestorm number three. First appearance of Killer Frost. Many of you guys have seen her in the Arrowverse, and like Green Arrow and Flash and DC Legends. and So she's been around. She's been out for a minute. You can find this probably for under 15, sometimes 20, for the most part under 15. It, it tends to stay at that that realm of, around that. I would say take a chance on it. Like, what do you have to lose? It's always going to be, it's a character that's already on the screen. Even if it's not the big screen, she's still on the screen. So it's only a matter, like, if she gets introduced to the DCU and it's a chance that they would push the character even farther, I would see this book jumping higher than what it is now. But right now, you can invest in it for under 20 bucks. I would say take the chance. Just buy one, two, three copies. Just let it sit. And hey, you got the first appearance of Killer Frost. Nothing wrong with that. It's not too bad. Not shabby at all. Something, you know, add to your collection and just, hey, keep going with the other stuff you're trying to get. Number four, we got Power Man and Iron Fist number 66. This is the second, second full appearance of Sabretooth. Now, what's there to mention other than when you see Sabretooth, you're going to see Wolverine. And you know eventually with Marvel acquiring the rights back from Fox that you're going to see Wolverine. So you can bet, as a thinking man, you can bet that you're going to see Sabretooth. Now with Iron Fist 14 as his first full appearance, it's starting to get, it's, it's getting up there. You're, you, it's, you know, it's getting, getting pretty expensive. So when people aren't able to buy the first appearance, what do you think they go after? Second appearance. That's that right there. I would say get a few copies and hold on to them because they're going to see a spike in value. It's only a matter of time because Sabretooth, his first appearance, is just going to continue to keep going through the roof. Just keep going through the roof. And people are going to seek this one because it's going to be harder to get their hands on the first appearance. Not a bad little book. Nice read. Cool cover. Especially with Power Fist and Iron, you know, Iron Fist and Power Man. Sorry, excuse me. Not bad, you know. Number three. Got power pack number one. Now, it's been quite a few speculations on them getting a show on Disney Plus. And with the success of their launch and all that, I can actually see that happening. If their success continues to happen, I can see them bringing giving these guys a shot. They may introduce them on the show. You know how Marvel's good for that and giving people cameos to get you ready for them. I can see that. Like, if they were to give these guys a chance, I can see this book becoming very, very, very hot. Right now, it's, it's, nobody's talking about it. People are still buying copies, but you can get that for under $20. And we're talking about decent grades, not no low grades or anything so I would say take the chance on it because if they actually confirm that these guys are coming forget it the days of being able to buy for 20 bucks will be over and you know how comics jump and really quick it happens 
you gotta be on your toes with this stuff. That's the crazy part about it because you be like, oh, I got time, I got time, and then next thing you know, they confirm it, and the book's three hundred dollars, and you're like, oh man. Now I have multiple copies of this, but I would suggest if you're investing, get the newsstand variant. That's when you'll see the barcode instead of this. That's going to be the one that's more highly sought after than those copies. Newsstands now, people have gotten hip to it and they're starting to go more after those copies. So take a chance, you know. Right now you can get that for under 20 bucks. I, I don't see nothing wrong with it. And if it doesn't happen, then hey, you got the first appearance of Power Pack. Not a bad comment. Number two, we got DC Comics Presents number 27. First appearance of Mongo. Now, Mongo, I feel like if DCU could have introduced him through the Justice League or a Superman movie, it would have been perfect. Like, he's, he's, he's a very good adversary. Like, he... And then, not to mention War World, when he controls that, like, he, he's a problem for any superhero. He's fought the Flash. He's, he's fought several of the Justice League members. I feel like they should have went in that direction before they went with Steppenwolf. But, hey, um, you know, I don't, I don't get paid to screen right with all them. I'm, I'm just throwing out some things that would have made sense. Like, you start off with... The lower tier villains and then you work your way up to the dark sides and all that stuff but hey that's the what they want to take a chance on so god bless them. but this you can find actually for other 30 bucks cool little cover on it not too hot but people are still willing to bid on them. And if you get, they're getting decent grades for under $30. I feel like why not take a chance on the first appearance of somebody? No brainer to me, but. Number one. Drum roll. I ain't gonna do no drum roll. <laughs> Champions number one. This comic, I feel like, has the biggest potential out of any of these that I've mentioned. With, the, with them getting ready to introduce Miss Marvel, Miles Morales is already up there. It's only a matter of time I feel like Nova's coming. He's coming. like it, He's going to be there. I feel like just with them going to the space realm for Phase 4 or Phase 5, I feel like it's only a matter of time before he gets his just dues. And what I said earlier in the videos, I feel like they're gonna they're gonna make more team up movies. I don't see it being the Avengers because characters have died off and they split and went their own way and did doing their own thing now. And then you got some that just stick to the Disney shows and all that. But I feel like they're actually this is. They're going to lead to this, and I'm investing heavily on it. You have different uh, variant covers of it. You have a sketch variant. You have a Alex Ross variant, which is actually the most sought-after cover of it. Uh, it's another variant, maybe a virgin variant, where like half of the, the, the cover is sketched, half is not. I have that copy also as well, and I have a few other copies of these that I've invested in. And I still, I'm still on lookout for more. But right now, you can find this probably for 25, and for the majority, sometimes less. I feel like you should take a chance on it, see what happens. Just keep it stockpiled, hold it. But I, I, I feel like personally in my heart that it's only a matter of time that all of these characters get introduced. And you know, once they start introducing these characters the book gets hotter and hotter and hotter. Same thing with Young Avengers number one. They're introducing characters slowly, getting you familiar with them. Like Marvel takes their time building with their characters and that's why we tend to watch and respect Marvel movies more because they take their time. They get you to care about the character. They let you see his powers. They let you see them grow 
they don't just rush it. Not all the time, you know. You do have your few movies where you're like, yeah, they could have. They could have waited on that one. But this is the last pick of I Got Five on them. And I feel like this one has the most potential out of all of those. So, like, comment, share, subscribe. Stay tuned. I'm going to be posting more videos. Cash cow out.